It's pretty common for college students to work out regularly trying to look fit and attractive. Claudia Rupsich joins us live in the studio. Claudia, the scale isn't always kind, even for workoutaholics. It's true, Megan, and there are other ways to determine if your weight is where it should be. I followed a UNC student through a series of measurements, some more accurate than others. Let's take a look. Kirstie Castaner has been an athlete almost all her life. At UNC, she plays intramural soccer and works out at least three times a week. But according to her body mass index, she's overweight. It hurts. I mean, like, I obviously have all this pressure from, like, the media and whatnot already, and they're telling me I'm fat, and now science is telling me I'm fat, so... BMI calculations are based solely on height and weight and don't take muscle mass into account. So for a 5-foot, 130-pound person like Castanera, BMI isn't an accurate measurement of fitness. Bioelectrical impedance, or BIA analysis, uses a device that measures your body fat by sending a small electric current through the body. According to this test, Castanera has 25.1 percent body fat, placing her in the recommended category. One of the most accurate methods used to measure body composition is a skinfold test. The person administering the test uses calipers to pinch three different areas of the body. In women, they're the back of the arm, the side of the stomach, and the thigh. The computer takes an average of the three numbers to come up with the percent of body fat. This test showed Castanera with 28.7 percent body fat, still within the recommended category. Lauren Mangili is a director of the fitness program at UNC. She says the BMI numbers are scary for people like Castanera. She says although other measures are more accurate, people shouldn't get hung up on the numbers. So you have to have fat on your body, and women have more fat than men. It's just a fact of nature. So the number shouldn't really be the main focus. Instead, she says to focus on how you feel, how your clothes fit, and the amount of energy you have. You should take body fat percentage into account, but it's definitely not the only factor in determining how fit you are. Claudia, if BMI is an inaccurate measurement of body composition, why do people use it? Well, that's probably because all you have to do is type two numbers into your computer to get a calculation, Megan. But it really is a poor measure for short, muscular people, as well as for tall, thin people. BMI might put them into the underweight category when in reality they're fit. That's Claudia Rupsich, live in the studio. Thanks, Claudia. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.